Uh, well, hello again. Uh, here's another one about Trump. You seem to love Trump. <laughs> the question is, is Trump a flight risk? Well, in the aftermath of his election failure and the, and the riots in the nation's capital, the uh, number of investigations about his acts are starting to pile up. And uh, although he's used to fighting in court this time, it's different. He has at least 29 different actions against him, and, and some could involve jail time if convicted. So he, he's a ripe candidate to flee the country. Okay, let's, let's look at the arguments. First, uh, those who agree that, that he is a candidate to leave the country. Well, uh, most importantly, the extent of the criminal charges and financial pressures uh, they must be simply overwhelming, and, and the evidence in most of them is so unequivocal, and and being prepared so carefully by his prosecuting <laughs> adversaries, that conviction in many cases is virtually certain. Uh, he even mused about the possibility of fleeing, maybe in an unguarded moment, and. and one military scenario expert even commented that he's a prime flight candidate. <laughs> well, there are many places in the world that he might go to, but Dubai is probably the most unlikely, unlike China and Russia. Uh, Dubai is not particularly hostile to American interests. Uh, it's also a place that harbors prominent criminal fugitives like the uh, ex-king <laughs> Juan Carlos of Spain, how ignominious is that? And finally, uh, he's basically a crook, and, and that's what crooks do. Well, on the other hand, uh, what are the no arguments? I suppose most important is, is his ego just wouldn't allow it. He wouldn't allow him to run from trouble. He's always been a scrapper. He will persuade himself he can win talk his way out of all of this, as he's always done before. And his lawyers may be able to spin it out for years, decades, who knows. Uh, uh, that is, unless he runs into a judge who won't put up with that. Um, and uh, bizarrely, uh, we now find that the state of Cl Florida is considering ways to block extradition uh, back to New York if, if he's down there when he's uh, indicted and charged. Wow, <laughs> crazy times. And fleeing by airplane would be a big problem. How would he find a pilot who would be willing to carry him? And it'd have to be done super, super surreptitiously. I mean, he couldn't go by scheduled airline. Obviously, it wouldn't be possible. Uh, another thing is he, he may not want to leave his family, and they'd probably refuse to go with him anyway. Why should they? And finally, he would know that the U.S. government would not permit someone with all of his information and military secrets, assuming, by the way, that he was listening when they were uh, explained to him, uh, to flee to any place that was interested in discovering them. That's why a flight to Russia, by the way, which would otherwise make sense, would not be possible. And maybe not even to one of the Gulf states. If the U.S. government uh, thought he was in any way compromising military secrets. I, I think he would mysteriously die from the American equivalent of Novichok. So, and he would know that, so that's why he wouldn't try. Well, what is my take on all of this? Uh, well, with Trump, nothing surprises me. A, a, a rational man wouldn't try any such dramatic ploy, but as we all know, Trump is not rational. I, I do believe he's mentally unbalanced in the best of times, and, and he's become even more so after his failed uh, election and his uh, role in the assault in the U.S. Capitol. So I, he's, he's getting even worse. Uh, so with Trump, I'm afraid anything is possible. <laughs> Well, I hope you liked that. If you did, give me the usual stuff, like, uh, subscribe, uh, comment, please, uh, uh, notify, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.